Alright folks, so the subject material of this video is only going to appeal to maybe one or two of you. Uh, this is a little bit of a deviation from what I usually do, which is here lately normally in verbert videos, uh, occasionally a cigar review video, and tonight, of course, is going to be on my Black Powder Revolver, which I just got last month, and I have really enjoyed using it. I'm starting to still learn kind of the uh, workings of it, you know, things like that. I'm perfecting my uh, technique, if you will. But I got a product in this week that is basically an accessory that um, is already made. I haven't even used them yet, but it's already made my uh, life so much simpler in using this thing as far as reloading. For those of you that don't know much about this revolver, <coughs> um, this was... One of the first repeating, actually the first repeating firearm basically um, created and it's called a black powder or percussion or cap and ball revolver. The reason behind that being that you would pour a measured amount of powder in each chamber and then you would put a felt wad in there and then you would put a lead ball in there and then you would rotate that chamber around and you had a loading lever and you would shove that ball home and it would be loaded and then you've got these little they call them nipples and everybody chuckles uh, I think back in the day they were called percussion cones but you put these small little caps that have a small amount of explosive pressure sensitive explosive on them and then of course when you you've got all chambers loaded and you've got all your uh, percussion caps on the nipples then of course you're ready to fire, and then, of course, you pull the trigger back. Bang, the hammer hits the percussion cap, ignites it. That ignites the power, a powder, and the ball um, exits the barrel. And these were state-of-the-art, like I said, when they were created. They were kind of the first repeater where you didn't have to shoot one shot and stop to reload. You had six, five or six rounds that you could put at somebody before you had to reload, but it was still a bit of a pain. I'm going to get a couple of things here to kind of uh, help this whole story, some visual aids, and I'll be right back. Okay, now this is not truly um, historically accurate, of course, but back in the day, you would have had your powder, usually in a flask, and then you had your powder measure, which a lot of the flasks had the measure built onto them. You could tip it over, dump out the amount of powder, then you would put it into the chamber of the revolver, then you would put your wad and your ball in, and go. That is a bit slow and tedious. The um, A couple of weeks ago, I figured out a way to make pre, pre-measured powder charges to at least make field loading a little faster. So what I did was, took your everyday run-of-the-mill bendy straw, cut the bendy part off, heat it up and seal it down here, pour my powder into my powder measure, and then pour it into the straw, cut the end of the straw off, and heat it up and seal it on that end, and then I could carry these little pre-made charges about that long in my pack, and all I had to do was cut the tip off, pour them into the revolver, and then grab a, uh, a ball and a wad, and um, I'm ready to shoot. Well, that was still a bit slow, so I was, I've was i been watching some videos, learning how to, uh, learning the ins and outs of black powder, and there is a guy that um, does a lot on black powder, and he did a video on uh, reloads, and he showed these little guys right here, which I'll get one that's not loaded yet. I just got these guys uh, yesterday from Dixie Gunworks. They are a small little... A vinyl tube that is collapsible, right? So basically, the uh, premise behind these is they are a pre-made cartridge. So you would sit around, pour your powder into your measure, then into the tube, then you would take a wad and a ball and put it in there. And I'm going to demonstrate that in a minute. But then there, there you have a pre-made cartridge, basically. And then when you're ready to shoot... You would just squeeze below the ball. The ball and the wad pop out. You pour the powder in, put the ball and the wad on top. Boom. It's a lot faster reload than having to pre-measure powder 
put the powder in the chamber, put the wad and the ball in there. So I'm going to get set up and show you how to load these guys because i still got five, uh, four or five more of these left to make up. And then I'll explain the difference between this pile and this pile. All right, so this is basically how um, I load one of those. Um, hold on. I forgot the balls and the wads. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Cart before the horse. So here um, is how I make up those charges. I take my spoon. I go in, I scoop up some powder, and then I put my powder measure over the jar because we're going to lose some powder, and then you just pour the powder into the measure, give it a few taps to let that powder settle, and you'll notice that uh, my jar is also um, in a bo uh, inside a bowl to catch any um, loose powder, but there is a pre-measured powder. You close the lid on the uh, measure, then you just pour the powder into the tube. Take your lead ball. These are pre-treated with a lubricant that I discovered, discovered from the same guy. And that is called Liquid Alex. That is a bullet lubricant that as it travels down the barrel, it lubricates um, and kind of helps prevent uh, fouling as much. And then, of course, you put your wad... On top of that, press it down into the tube, and there you go. There is your pre-made cartridge. I'll do one more of these, and then again, I will explain the difference uh, between the two loads that I have here. Again, we take, scoop some powder, put the powder into the measure. Then we use the handle of our spoon to flush it out or make it even. Tap the excess, excess off, close it up. Powder goes into the tube. You then take your pre-lubricated ball, poke that down in there just below the surface. Take your wad. Put it on top, boom, you've got a pre-made cartridge. This makes shooting so much, or reloading so much faster and easier. Now to explain the difference between the two here, the guy that I watched showed that uh, with his loads, he was using, um, not only was he using the bullet lubricant that I pointed out, but he was also using um, soy wax that he would put into the tube, he would actually put that, a few grains of that into the bottom of the tube first, then put the powder on top, then the ball, then the wad. So when you take the ball and the wad off and you dump it into the chamber, that wax is going to be on top. And what that does is that melts when the powder ignites and it travels down the barrel, it does the same thing basically that the bullet lubricant does it lubricates the barrel it helps with um, to reduce fouling which is the buildup of soot and powder residue in your revolver so that you don't have to clean it as much uh, in between uh, chambers or whatever when you're out in the field so the ones that have the dot on the bottom of them I got 50 of these tubes half of them have the wax they have the black dot on the bottom waxless no dot. I'm going to shoot both, kind of see what happens, and then you will notice the number 26 on each one of these. That is the load, the uh, powder load that is in each one of these, meaning it's 26 grain. Um, I still don't exactly know what that measurement signifies, but uh, right now, that's I was shooting 30 grain. I've dialed it back to 26, and I'm just going to shoot until I figure out uh, which uh grain load my revolver like. So there we go. That was just kind of a simple breakdown of some reloads on my revolver. Now, I shot this thing the other day and it needs to be broken down and cleaned. And if any of you are interested in that, please let me know down in the comments real soon. And if you and if you want me to, I will take this thing and I will break it down to all of its components down to pieces, clean it up and put it back together for you. So if you, if you do want that, let me know. Um, there may be some developments coming up in the channel. I may be splitting the channel. That way I can kind of um, 
separate my subject matter so that people that want invertebrate videos don't come across black powder or cigar review videos, which I haven't done those in a while, but getting around to that. So I may have an invertebrate channel and then another channel that will be black powder revolver, cigar reviews, and maybe something else. If you did enjoy this video, if you want to see more of this, you want to know more about this weapon and, you know, black powder and all that kind of stuff, I'll share with you the little that I know, and um, we'll just learn as we go along if you want. Hey, I really appreciate all two of you for watching this video. If you liked it, please let me know down in the comments with, with a thumbs up and a comment. Subscribe, share, and of course, take care of yourselves and each other. Have a great day or a great night. God bless.